Welcome to Sectigo's Quantum Safe PKI video series. My name is Alan Grau, and I'm the Vice President for IoT and Embedded Solutions at Sectigo. In this video series, we discuss a wide range of quantum safe cryptography and PKI related topics. And today we're talking about quantum safe certificate generation, and we'll provide a demo of how to generate quantum safe certificates using our quantum safe PKI toolkit. So when we talk about quantum safe certificates, we're still talking about traditional X.509 digital certificates. And there's really a couple of different flavors of certificates that we want to touch briefly on. Traditional digital certificates use one of the traditional public key, private key encryption algorithms. In other words, RSA encryption or ECC encryption. And within the certificate, we have the public key as well as the signature generated with that traditional algorithm, again, either ECC or RSA. As we move to quantum safe PKI, we want to start using quantum safe digital certificates. And the difference here is that we'll have swapped out the public key and the signature for a new, uh, a new public key and new signature that are generated using one of the new quantum safe algorithms that are being developed and standardized by NIST. There's another type of certificate though that's worth talking about, and that's a hybrid digital certificate. So a hybrid digital certificate still has the traditional RSA or ECC key and signature, but it also has a new public, an, basically an alternate key and alternate signature generated using one of the new quantum safe encryption algorithms. Now the reason that we want to have hybrid certificates is to allow a gradual migration of systems from tr traditional cryptography to quantum safe cryptography. So for example, if a large enterprise has a server uh, with some applications running on it that are using PKI for authentication, we can swap out the server certificate, upgrade the server to support quantum safe encryption, and install a hybrid digital certificate on that server. Applications can then continue to use the traditional encryption algorithms to connect to that server and talk to it. But as the applications and clients that talk to that server are updated to use quantum safe certificates, they can then begin using quantum safe crypto for authentication for their communication sessions with that server. Now, ultimately, we have to move from, you know, from the traditional encryption algorithms to pure quantum safe algorithms. So eventually we need to migrate away from that. So once all the client applications are updated, we can stop using the hybrid certificates and replace them with pure quantum safe digital certificates. I mean, ultimately that's where we need to get to. So if we take a look at a certificate, a hybrid certificate, we'll see it's got new fields in it. It still has the, the um, existing, again, RSA or ECC signature and keys, but now we have added a new alternate signature algorithm, an alternate public key, and an alternate signature using a new quantum safe algorithm. Now with these algorithms, or with the, these certificates, the hybrid certificates, existing um, applications that consume those certificates if they don't understand these new alternate values, they'll simply ignore them. So they can be used completely interoperability with existing systems, again, allowing a gradual update of systems before we cut over to the pure quantum safe solutions. So in a second here, I'm gonna show you a demo of how to issue quantum safe certificates using our quantum safe PKI toolkit. And so we've partnered with Asara. They're one of the leading providers of quantum safe crypto algorithms. They've built, again, a number of crypto algorithms and of implementations of those, including some plugins with OpenSSL that we can use. And then we're gonna create a TLS session using those quantum safe certificates. So you can see what the process looks like and, and we actually validate utilizing those certificates over TLS to create a session, again, using the quantum safe algorithms. So now we're gonna to go to the demo running on a virtual machine, local to this machine. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring up my virtual machine running Linux. For our demo setup, we're running on a Linux virtual machine on which we've installed the Asara toolkit that provides quantum safe crypto algorithm implementations. And the Asara toolkit provides a plugin into OpenSSL. What that means is that we can use common OpenSSL commands to create a TLS session or to do scripting commands all of which are using SRO's implementations of quantum safe crypto algorithms. 
So in this demo, what we're going to be doing is creating our own private self-signed PKI infrastructure. So we'll create a root certificate, an intermediate, and a couple of leaf certificates. All are going to be hybrid certificates, so we'll have both RSA keys in them, as well as quantum safe keys created using keys and signatures using quantum safe algorithms. And the TLS sessions that we will show at the end will be using those quantum safe algorithms. Now this is a demo proof of concept system, but what it shows is the processes that can be used and, and how the algorithms can be implemented and, and utilized. As we move forward, we're providing these same capabilities of issuing certificates from the Sectigo hosted data center systems. So our software as a, software as a service solutions that are currently being used to manage certificates and create certificates and issue certificates for enterprise use cases, IoT use cases, and so on, are being augmented to support the quantum safe certificate generation. So what we'll do first is we'll create the quantum safe root certificate. And the way this works is we first generate the RSA keys in an RSA certificate. And then once that's done, we'll create the quantum safe key pair and then update the certificate to add the new alternate fields and the alternate signature, again, generated with the quantum safe algorithms. So if we've dumped out the certificate that was created, and if we go back and, and take a look at that, we'll see that we've got an alternate signature algorithm, which is the HSS or hierarchical signature scheme algorithm, an alternate public key, and then an alternate signature value. And you did notice that it took a little bit of time to generate that HSS key pair. And for that reason, you know, some of the quantum safe crypto algorithms work really well for things like signing root certificates or creating the root certificates that aren't used quite as frequently as the leaf certificates. And in this example, we actually use a different encryption algorithm, the lithium, for the leaf certificates. But now that we've created the root, we're going to follow the same process to create the intermediate certificate which is signed by the root. Then we're going to create two leaf certificates, one for the server side of the TLS connection, and then one for the client side of the TLS section. And these again are using common SSL scripts, open SSL scripts that have been augmented with some additional commands to create the, um, the quantum safe keys and update the certificates with quantum safe signatures. So here we can see, and this is one of the leaf certificates, that the alternate signature algorithm is dilithium. We still have the alternate public key and then the signature value. So now that we've created that, we've got a script that will execute a couple of different TLS sessions using the quantum safe algorithms. And so we actually have a couple of different scripts that are TLS sessions that are created. The third one we'll take a quick look at is using mutual authentication. So each side is authenticating the other using the dilithium root key and root certificate. So we can see that the server is using one of the leaf certificates we just created, as is the client. And then they're doing a quantum safe key negotiation and then exchanging some data over that session in a quantum safe fashion. So that's shown here. So that's just a quick demo, and again, kind of a proof of concept demo of what can be done with the Asara toolkit integrated with OpenSSL. And again, we're in the process of integrating these capabilities with our core products so that you can request certificates you know, using REST APIs and other automation protocols from our centralized system for a broad range of use cases. But you can come so now we've seen a, an example of how we can create digital certificates using quantum safe algorithms. And as you're looking at doing research to understand quantum safe algorithms or starting to implement these things in your solutions, you can reach out to us. Sectigo is one of the leading providers of PKI solutions, and we're leading the way providing quantum safe PKI solutions for a broad set of use cases. And you can visit us on our website at sectigo.com slash quantum hyphen labs to learn more.